We are going to make a role-based login with form authentication, admin will manage whole application, and user will be logged in with session, and can view only your own profile, and be able to edit. Now, we have to create account controller, for login authentication. Right click on controllers go to add click on controller, select MVC5 controller empty, enter the controller name, and click add. Add action result login for HTTP GET method. Now, add a view in, right click on action result login method, and click add view, select empty template, and click add button. Now, remove the code, and write CSS code for style. Now, make a partial login, right-click on shared folder, go to add, and click add view, select empty template, and click add. Run the project without debugging mode. Here, we got a compile time error, we had missed a semicolon. Just enter semicolon and refresh thought page. Now, we have to make a login HTTP POST method. Make a folder in root, right click on project, go to add, and click on new folder, enter the folder name as common. Add a class with the name as common in this common folder. Make a boolean method with the name is valid employee.
Make a connection object. Write a code for login method. Here, common is derived from mvcdemo.common. Now, call valid employee method. Admin will be logged in with form authentication and manage whole application. User will be logged in with session and can view only your own profile and be able to edit your own profile. Change the code in underscore layout dot CSHTML. If user dot identity dot is authenticated equals true, it means that the user has logged in. If user has role admin, then he will be able to view admin site, otherwise he will see user site.
Enter the credentials for login and hit login button. Here, you notice that we have not seen logout button. Now, we will create a class with the name web role provider in common folder and inherits it to the role provider. Role provider is derived from system.web.security, now implement abstract class method. Enter here, query to get role of user as list array from database. Now, open web.config file. Here, we are going to setting the form authentication and role manager for role-based login. Here, notice that type should be namespace of your web role provider class. Now, make a logout method. Now, expand app underscore start folder and open route config.cs file. Enter the action name as login and controller name as account. Run the project by F5 button from keyboard.